Hello everyone and welcome back to MV Tutors. My name is Tulu and I just wanted to make a quick video on the lowest common multiple as well as the highest common factor using the ladder method. Alright, so you'll find that sometimes in your test they will ask you to specifically use the ladder method. And if that's the case, how do we go about doing it? Alright, please don't forget to like our videos as well as subscribe to our channel. Please do you uh, refer your friends to our channel and yeah enjoy the video so let's say I have the numbers 16 and 40 all right and then I say uh, please use the ladder method to find the lowest common multiple all right so before I would write down the the multiples of 16 and then the multiples of 40 and then find which one is the lowest common multiple but if we use the ladder method it's a bit different okay so i'm going to try one form of the ladder method so i have 16 as well as 40 all right and when we start with the ladder method this particular one i think it's the american way of doing it <laughs> i'm going to use prime factors so i'm going to say what is the lowest prime factor i can use that is common between 16 and 40 i'll start with 2 all right if i divide by 2 i get 8 for 16 and i get 20 with regard to 40 i can divide by 2 again i have 4 and on this side 20 divided by 2 is 10 i can still use 2 all right and if i divide that i get 2 if I say 10 divided by 2, I get 5. So what I do, I then get my L. <laughs> what do I mean by that? This is my L. And then I multiply all the numbers that are in the L. So basically the lowest common multiple would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Alright, which is 16 and multiplied by 5. I actually get that the lowest common multiple is 80. Alright, some of you know another method where you pretty much, this would be your ladder. Okay, this is the South African method that I've seen. <laughs> so, we look at 16, alright. So now when I look at 16, um, that's basically 2 times 8. Okay, it's still similar. And then with 2, I'm done because the factors of 2 are just 1 and 2. But if I look at 8, that is basically 2 times 4. And if I look at 4, that's 2 times 2, and that's where it ends. What about 40? Let's move it a little bit. So 40, I have 2 times 20. And then 20 is 2 times 10. And then 10 is 2 times 5. And that's it. I can't go further. So with 16, I basically have 2, 2, 2 and 2 right 2 to the power of 4 and with 40 I have 2 2 2 and 5 so what we do with this method we say okay we have 2 that's common all right so if it's common we write it only once again there's another 2 that's common from both sides we write it once there's a third 2 and what we're going to do we're going to write it once then what are we left with we're left with two and we're left with five so we're just going to write it as it is okay and basically i have two times two times two times two which is 16 times five which is 18 very similar methods um you'll just confirm at school which one is actually preferred and just use that one okay so that is the lowest common multiple of 16 and 40 what if I wanted the highest common factor? Okay, let's look at, I don't know, do you want the same numbers, 16 and 40? <laughs> or different numbers? Let's go with 24 and 36. So highest common factor of 24 and 36. All right, so what I would do with one of the ladder methods, I would use both 24 and 36 and then go and look for the prime factors okay let me not draw this line so if i divide by two both sides i have 12 
and 18 that remains. If I divide by 2 again, I am left with 6 and 9. Now 2 cannot get in 6 and 9, so I need to use 3. <laughs> okay, if I say 6 divided by 3, I get 2. 9 divided by 3, I have 3. And I cannot go further. All right, if I were to look for the lowest common multiple, remember what we do at this point, what we do we would just say this is the L. Okay, but we're not looking for the lowest common multiple here. We are simply looking for the highest common factor. And uh, for the highest common factor, you're basically just going to take these numbers and multiply them. Okay, so the highest common factor in this case, it would be 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. All right, that is basically the highest common factor um, of 24 and 36. Now, if I were to use... The other ladder method where I say okay with 24 rather let me just write it at the bottom so I go 24 that's basically 2 times 12 if I continue writing it in its prime factors 12 is 2 times 6 and 6 is 2 times 3 then I look at uh, what's the other one 36 okay so 36 I have 2 and 18 uh, 18 can be divided into 2 and 9, and 9 can be divided into 3 and 3. Then I look, what is common between the two? I have a 2 here, I have a 2 there, great. I have a 2 here, and a 2 there, awesome. I have a 2, but there's no other 2, so 3 and 3. So basically, the highest common factor would be 2 times 2 times 3 which is 4 times 3, and that is 12. All right, similar methods, a um, little bit different, but that's basically what you're going to do.